Hello, hi, my name is Crypto Nerd, and in this video, I'll cover off the latest news regarding Netflix and how um, in just over a month, they've lost 40% of their share price. So yesterday, Netflix announced that in Q1 of 2022, they lost over 200,000 subscribers and they're expected to lose another 2 million in the next quarter. Um, next, next, Netflix have put this down to increased competition, the pandemic being over, people are going out more, going on holidays more. It's also worth noting, noting that Netflix had increased their price recently um, to approximately $15.49 $15 um, in the US and in the UK, they've hiked up their prices by five pounds. Um, they said that this is due to inflation and tightening of budgets. And obviously everyone's feeling the pinch now um, and it's got having a knock on effect. However, there's a, it's worth noting Netflix have announced a whole host of bad news during the last couple of months. For example, they announced that they're planning to introduce adverts. One of the main reasons I enjoy Netflix is there's no adverts. I can binge watch. It's almost like when you finish one episode, you go into the next episode. The idea of introducing adverts really does put me off. Um, almost monetizing it a bit like YouTube, where you have a premium service and then you have a free service. Where the premium service, you don't watch adverts. And in this service, you do. Um, I'm not sure how well that will go down. And so during the quarterly earnings call, the CEO, Reed Hastings, explained that building adverts into the service would give consumers choice. Um, so they're planning on having different subscription models, one for adverts, one not for adverts. Um, he said he's not a fan of it, but it's a consumer choice. As I said, I don't think it's going to go down very well. It won't be long before people um, be before people go over. And also you've got other competition. You've got Amazon Prime, you've got Apple TV, Disney Plus. I've started using Amazon Prime more. There's more shows on there. It's also worth noting as well, Netflix are cracking down on password sharing. Um, so again, the, anyone who shares their password with their friends and family, they might have an additional cost associated with it. Um, so yeah, and also Netflix are looking at their rivals like Hula who have offered subscriptions with ads. I, I'm never a fan of ads, as I said. A lot of people who watch Netflix plan on binge watching. Um, so there's a lot of bad news coming out and it's not leaving a good sentiment in consumers' minds. Um, it's also worth noting a billionaire hedge fund in the name of Ak Ackman who had purchased, um, he liquidated his shares yesterday. Um, 1.1 million bet on Netflix. Um, he sold 3.1 million shares yesterday, a huge loss. Uh, in January, the investor funneled 1 billion into the streaming service. Uh, in January, the share price was towards 400, well, it was over $500. So he's now sold it at a 50% loss, which is quite shocking. So a lot of people are exiting Netflix. Um, I think Netflix need to be careful. They might be turning into the next Blockbuster. Um, one of the reasons Blockbuster went bust was that they couldn't keep up with their competitors. They tried to revise their business model. Um, they were ignoring what consumers really want. I think the one main thing with Netflix, as I said to you, it was like a binge worthy service. It was cheap. Uh, I think the first, if I remember rightly, it was around about five pound or six pound when I first bought Netflix all those years ago. Um, so I do think that they need to be very careful that they don't turn into Blockbuster. Um, where Blockbuster ignored the current market, they were very arrogant because they were they had a, they had the monopoly in the market. And I feel like Netflix are turning into that, where they feel like they, they can do what they want because they've got the monopoly, but it's now having a big effect on their share price. So it's worth reading these articles. Um, you also remember Blockbuster turned down the opportunity that Netflix wanted to buy it, or Netflix wanted to sell their company to Blockbuster for 50 million because Blockbuster were quite arrogant, a bit like how Netflix are right now, in my opinion. So Blockbuster essentially laughed Netflix out of their office and then Netflix became the, the, the leading person in the market. So yeah, it's just worth noting that, yeah, I, I think that th there's been poor execution on some of these ideas. Again, another thing that Blockbuster had, so there's a lot of similarities between the two. Um, so in my opinion, I'll probably stay away from this share price until we see some stability. Let me know your comments in the in the section below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe um, so I can bring you some more great content. I can see my videos are being viewed a lot, but at the moment, the subscriber, the subscriber count isn't going up. So it'd be nice to see that number go up. But thanks for your time.